Okay, so let's read this problem on the board. Jamel. Three, four. Jamel has three bags of candies. The number in bag one is two-fifths of that in bag two. Let's stop here. Bag one is compared to which bag? Bag two. All right. Because this has a fraction of two-fifths, it tells me if I were to compare to bag two, I could treat bag two as being the whole. A whole consisted of five parts. So if I were to say this is bag two, I could put five circles and consider this as the whole. Okay? But they said that bag one had how much? What fraction? Two. Okay, so if I were to put bag one here, what would be two fifths of this amount? Correct, two. So we have two circles in bag one. Let us read on from here, please. The number. Three, four. The number of candies in bag three is a half of that in bag one. So let us say this is bag three here. It's a half that in bag one. How many circles would we have? One. Why one? Because so the half of two is one. Very good. Let's continue to read. If, if on the count of four, three, four. If the number of candies in bag two is seventy-two more than the number of candies in bag three, find the number of candies shall be had in all three bags. Right. They said the number of candies in bag two is 72 more than bag three. Bag three, okay. Let's see it again. It's 72 more than that in bag three. So how many in bag three? How many in bag two? Five. So what do you think would represent the 72? Four then? Correct. So this four would represent 72. Correct? Everybody agree with that? Yes, sir. So let's work the magic. If four circles, let me put circles, is equivalent to 72, how much do you think one circle would be? Tell me. Nine. Nine, how do we get nine? Do you think 9 is the answer? Okay. I think we get 9 because if you have all the circles, then it will be 72 times 9. Alright, so let's think about it a little bit. 4 of the circles is 72. This means 4 times something is 72. Anybody? Just you can tell me how I'm going to get the answer. 4 times 36? How did you get 36? Okay, so if we divide 72 by 4, you get the process right. The answer may not be correct that you said, but let's see, what would we, what would we get? 18. 18? Let's see if you are correct this time. 7 divided by 4 will give me... Let's take our time. One remaining how much? Three. Right. And so if you divide it by four, we'll give me what? Eight. All right. So one of the circle is eight. Eighteen. Sorry. Let's go back to the question. What does the question ask? They ask you to? Find the number of candies Jabez had in all three bags. Now that we know one of the circles represents
next 18. How do you think we will find out how much he had in all? Counting 18. Very good. What are we counting in 18? The circles. Is there another way of doing it? Correct. And that is the easier way of doing it. So, how many circles in all do we have? Eight. Eight. Easy to find out, right? Five, seven, eight. So now, what he had in total would be eight, because eight, what does eight represent again? The number of, number of circles here, right? Eight multiplied by, what we multiplying by? Eighteen. Eighteen. Let's see. What is eight times eight? Sixty-four. Sixty-four. You know, you're keeping a six in your head, right? And what is eight times one? Eight. And eight plus six is the number. Fourteen. Fourteen. So, our answer should be? One hundred and forty-four. Candy is very good. You need to put your units. We are talking about candy. And this is another way of doing it. You enjoy this way? Yes, sir. I thank you.